Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and we are going to continue on with Monday Madness. Great, right? So, I wanted to give my full review of the Asus EEBook X205 TA, <laughs> the, the technical term, uh, the 11.6 inch 32 gig blue variant of this laptop. This came to me with, uh, I purchased this from Best Buy, by the way, I cut it on sale for $169. Asus actually sells it on sale for $189. And Best Buy's regular price is $199, same as Asus. So, this is an Intel Quad Core 1.3 gigahertz processor in here. It's actually 2.16 pounds, and I tell you, this thing is super thin. If I had a quarter, this, you know, it's, I could show you how thin it is. Actually, let me get a, well, no, I'm not going to do it. You can see how thin it is. So first, before I do a lot of the technical stuff, let's go around the body of this thing. So on the back here, you see that uh, this is nothing on there, just the hinge uh, on there. And uh, you see two 2.0 USB ports there. There's some light indicators down here for battery, lock, and uh, charge. On this side, you can see I have an SD card in there with 64 gig in there. It actually has HDMI, which I do have that cable, which is fantastic, uh, to put it onto your TV or project it onto a larger screen. So that's really good. Uh, and that's the way you would need to do that because it doesn't have the VGA, but it does work. You can do projection. Headphone jack and then your charging cable is right there. So techie stuff. Um, techie stuff. Let me unlock it real quick. Techie stuff, it has a full-size keyboard, and this keyboard is actually super sweet. It's, uh, to say the least, it's a really, really nice keyboard. I've been using this thing daily. I keep this downstairs. Um, I don't, you know, keep it up here. Obviously, I don't need to keep it up here. But uh, this keyboard is got the chiclet style. It's really nice. Well, one thing I forgot to mention, it does have two speakers here and here. So the sound on this thing is, is, is really nice. Um, let's get into some of the things that that are really important to me. One thing I uh, understand is this actually comes in a white version, but I can't find it anywhere. So um, I would love to have this in white. It actually comes in gold also, but I have the blue version. So the most important part of this laptop to me, which I spoke of uh, before, was the battery. When I first got this, I was worried about the battery. And I was like, ah, you know, I don't know about this battery. Uh, but in reality, this battery lasts for days. Um, this will last you at least four days on a single charge, depending on what your usage is. Now, you know, I'm a heavy user in all of my devices, and this lasts me for at least a week. Um, it, it really can get 12 hours of continuous time of use because I've done it already. Um, I, let, I did a test of the battery, and I got probably a little bit more than 12 hours on a single charge when I let it run straight through. But if I'm just using it as my, you know, my daily computer and I'm going to it every now and then a couple hours a day or f four hours, a few hours a day, it, it, it goes into a standby mode where the battery just doesn't move. Um, <clears throat> and I, I, I really can, can't tell you enough how nice the battery is on, on this device. Um, wow. It, it, it really will last you for at least a week at least a week if you're not a heavy user as well. It has a nice function where you close the lid. If you have a lock on it, you're going to get your password every time like I do. But it has a resume feature of two seconds. And so basically when you close the lid, it goes into a deep standby. And then um, when you open it up, it pops you. It pops it right back up to the screen. It's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. One more thing on the battery. It's, it says that it can get 14 days of standby, and I truly believe that. Um, there are some perks to getting this one because Asus um, gives you 500 gigs of storage for two years uh, with this. There's 32 gigs built in, but I have a 64 gig card in there, uh, which definitely helps store all my, I got my music on there, my photos. I just keep a bunch of stuff on the SD card, movies, just, you know, things that I would, don't want to store on Google Drive or, um, or Google, uh, Google Plus, which it is there. So um, overall, it's just a laptop. It's just a small, sleek laptop. The card reader, it has a front-facing camera too, by the way. I've actually used that already. Um, but the speakers are, are on the bottom, and you know, it's just, uh, it says Sonic Master <laughs> uh, for the audio. But nonetheless, you're gonna be getting such a, a great package here for the price. Um, 
the screen resolution on here is, uh, I believe it's 1386. Let me see if I can find it here. 3366 by 768. Uh, and it says it's a glare panel, so it, it's really, really nice. Um, the overall package here, though, if you're looking for a laptop, I'm not going to say, oh, a student will love this or a kid. I hate when I see reviews like that because, you know, I don't know why people do things like that. Laptop is laptop. If you want a small, thin laptop um, with Windows 8, I would recommend this laptop. It's it's more than capable. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have an i3 or an i5 or an i7 in it, but... This is still a workhorse, and I do a lot of things. I've been editing things on here. Um, it runs 8.1, so it runs all the suite of, and you can run anything on it like a regular desktop computer, so it's there. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I, I, I stand firm on it. It's a great laptop, man. It has got a beautiful screen, 11.6. Uh, it has it has a five gigahertz band too as well, so it it'll it'll work really really well, but. That's a full review for me, as much as I can cover on this device. Um, I, I, I just love it, man. I, I think it was well worth my 169 bucks, and I, I would definitely recommend it over a lot of the current offerings as far as laptops go. Um, this is so thin. Now, it is plastic, and it's not really heavy either, but this is so thin. It's just un unbelievable. Let me see if I can grab a quarter. So here is the laptop next to a quarter. It's, it's super thin. It's, it's just crazy. Half the size of a quarter, smaller than a penny. I guess that lets you see how, how, how lightweight and 2.1 pounds is super lightweight. So, um, Check Best Buy, check Asus website. Uh, Best Buy had it for 169, uh, when I bought it, uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe it was. I wasn't going to do a review on this, but it was just that good. And I use it daily. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Monday Madness. Full review for the Asus EE Book. EE -E Book. EE -E 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 Book. Uh, basically, it's a, a, a scaled down Ultrabook. <laughs> you know, that's the way I see it. Uh, Ultrabooks really were about the size and the initial uh, and the power that you can get out of it, but. Even though this has a Bay Trail Intel processor in it, uh, this thing flies. Uh, no, no issues at all. Phone call. Gotta go. Call from